How did your fascination with Southern food begin? Because you're a first generation Korean mm-hmm. American, mm-hmm. correct? Mm-hmm. And you grew up up in Brooklyn. I right? grew up in Brooklyn, yeah. So how in the world did you end up with this fascination? So it's a, it's a long story. First of all, I don't know why, but when when I was in junior high school in in Brooklyn, and all my friends were listening to hip hop, I was listening to Johnny Cash, and I don't know why. It just it started. <laughs> I think it started with Folsom Prison Blues, um, and I because like no one in my family, like I have no connection to the South. Like, no one in my family's from here or anything. Um, but I moved down here because of the Kentucky Derby. Um, I think I had a little too much to drink, and, and I just wound up uh, staying in Louisville for a little bit too long. And uh, I, I, I think any inquisitive chef is going to be um, influenced by his or her surroundings. And um, I didn't cook Southern food when I first moved down here. I mean, I was just, I had a restaurant in Louisville, Kentucky, um, 610 Magnolia, and I was just sort of cooking some weird Asian Eurocentric food. And, and you know, I remember the first day I, I drove by a, a stand and saw the word sorghum, you know, and I, and I kind of stopped and I said, what is it? And some redneck in dungaree said, you know, this is, you got to try this because it's made from a sorghum plant. And, and I tried it and I was like, oh, this is better than honey. So I started using that. And little by little, and then someone introduced me to, to sort of, a, um, you know, a locally milled grits. And I was like, wow, this is really good. <laughs> so I started using that. So little by little, it, it really happened over a long period of time where I just started using these ingredients. And I, I, I rarely did I use them in the traditional way, but I was finding all these ingredients being influenced by them and thinking like, man, these are delicious. I remember, you know, getting introduced to, to um, Colonel Newsom's country ham for the first time and thinking like, this is better than any prosciutto I've ever had in my life. Like, why am I using prosciutto? So little by little, my pantry changed. And as that happened, um, and obviously I traveled and, and was influenced by people. Um, I remember going to a, a soul food restaurant for the first time. And I always say like, I remember the first time uh, uh, eating a bowl of collard greens and, and finding home, you know, it, it, to me, it was like, this is something that was, it, it, even though it's not Korean food at all, it felt like it, and it felt like something that was home, and, and I just remember thinking, like, I could stay here forever and cook. You know, if this is the food of, the, of, of he, this region, I could be here forever. I love having this opportunity to look at that food through your eyes, because all of us were certainly remember our first ventures into Asian markets Mm -hmm. and stuff when we're looking at ingredients we've never seen before. And to think of you having that same experience with sorghum and greens and it's, it's totally translatable. I get it. It is, and I don't know, you know, like, listen, I mean, you take something as, as maybe ubiquitous as, you know, pork ribs, right? I don't know anyone in the world that's not going to like pork ribs. That are, you know what I mean? Or There's no one in the, If you have a palate, there's no one in the whole world that's going to be like, I don't like gumbo. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I, I do think there are foods that are universally great, right? And, and you know, maybe frog legs are an acquired taste. But, you know, there are things that, about southern food that are just, you know, like fried chicken. Who doesn't like fried chicken? I mean, you can go, you can go all over the world and, and, and people just bite into a, 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 you know, a crackling leg of fried chicken. It's mm-hmm. like, it's the best thing ever. 